Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is second lecture of MySQL Data Query Language course. In this lecture, we will see how you can read or retrieve data from database and tables using select statement, right? And also during the uh, lecture, I will give you some exercises, and at the end of it, I'll also uh, give you some problem from HackerRank to solve and apply the knowledge that we have gained in this lecture, so that you can see for yourself what you have learned. All right. So let's get started. So what is a select statement? Let's say you are given a table, right? Let's say a user's table in this case, where we have fields like user ID, name, gender, age, and email, right? So you want to form a fetch operation. You have to retrieve operation on this table, right? So what select statement does, it, it, it gives you, uh, it helps you retrieve or fetch data from the table. All right. How? So what is the you know format of it? So format is pretty simple. You write select and then uh, comma separated column names, right? So let's say uh, column one, column two, dash, 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 whatever. Uh, just uh, write any column name that you want to read from the table. And then, of course, you want to read certain columns, but from which table you want to read it. Then in the from uh, section of this format, you will write the name of the table. So select column name from table name right as simple as that so if we take a look at the examples some of the examples here for example simple one would be select name and gender as you can see name and gender are two fields of this table right so i only want to read name and gender no age email or user id right from users so the output would look something like this so in the output we'll have only two columns name and gender so in first row, you get code and M, right? From the second row, you'll get N code and F. That's what you're getting, right? So using select statement, uh, you can read certain certain uh, column from the table, okay? As simple as that. Let's take another example here. For example, I'm reading three columns, name, user, ID, and gender. If you, play, uh, if, sorry, if you pay close attention here, you'll see that I have uh, changed the order of the fields. Uh, username was before name here in the table, but I want to print it in the uh, other way around. Like I want name before user ID, right? So the output would be in the same order as you have specified here in the column list, right? So I want to read name, user ID, and gender from users table. So output would look something like this: name, user ID, and gender. So uh, code one two three M. That's what you're getting in the first row, and the second. You get end code four five six f right that's what you're getting here so this way as you can see this is a very simple uh example this is like the hello world of uh, sql so this way you can read data from table using select statement now one exercise for you here so look at the output here and just complete this uh fill in the it's kind of fill in the blanks question right just complete that and you can comment this this in the comment section and of course, the example, the example problem or the test problem is so simple that I expect almost everyone to pass it, right? Now, there's one more thing. Let's say you want to read all of the column. One of the way would be to, uh, in the column section, write all of the names of the column, right? Select then call every column name you can write here. Or the other way is just write asterisk or star, whatever you'd like to call it. So select star from users or select asterisk from users. This way, you'll be able to read all of the fields from the table, okay? So output would be something like this. So if you want to read certain tables, you can, uh, sorry, if you want to read certain columns, you can specify the column names here. If you want to read the whole uh, columns, complete columns, right? The whole fields, you can uh, specify as asterisk here, as simple as that, okay? so from select statement basic select statement uh this is everything that you need to know later we'll uh, uh we'll utilize it with where statement also but that is for the next lecture okay so now that you have uh, some knowledge about it so these are the problems you can solve using select statement okay and the links of these two problems from hacker hacker i'll be providing in the description of the video so just go ahead solve this problem and i'll be very happy if you can you know in the comment section tell me your progress that you were able to solve one problem or two problem right or if you were stuck at some 
uh, points or again your suggestion that uh, I might have uh, added this context or this concept also here. Just remember this is a basic select statement lecture. Other things like where statement and uh, uh, other conditions we'll be covering later. Okay, This is the basic one. So yeah, this is it for this lecture. So uh, till, till we meet in the next lecture, just keep coding. Thank you.